According to the internet, Lego Batman 4 is real and coming soon. Or is it? What is happening, internet? Welcome back to K-Wing's Let's Plays. I am K-Wing, one of your co-hosts, and today we're talking about a very spicy topic, Lego Batman 4. Is it real or just a myth? So if you guys uh, don't remember or not, Lego Batman 4 technically was called Lego DC Supervillains, so it does exist in a sense. That game was famous for allowing you to play as the villains again in a really big, entertaining story for the first time since 2008's Lego Batman, where it was good to be bad. You actually got to play the villains with their own villain story, which was kind of a prequel to the events of the Lego Batman 2008 story. Now, with LEGO DC Super Villains, it actually did introduce the possibility for a sequel game. Now, this will be spoilers if you actually haven't played LEGO DC Super Villains, but it actually did something pretty monumental. At the end of the game, they actually confirmed that the multiverse does exist in the LEGO universe, and they were actually teasing a LEGO Crisis on Infinite Earths game by introducing the Anti-Monitor, who has defeated Darkseid at the conclusion of that game. And that's what fans were expecting for the longest time. Now, Traveler's Tales used to talk about accidentally that a Crisis game was in the works, but over the years, they have been very quiet on those details. In fact, other than the recent rumor from over a year ago now, where a lot of these clickbait videos are being created, is um, all people have to go by. Now, the reason why some people attached to this rumor is because there was actually a very credible website that leaped on this opportunity to talk about it, and that was PlayStation Lifestyle website, which is a very, um, we'll say, important PlayStation website that's affiliated or kind of like a subsidiary of Sony. So they were the ones who actually broke the story, and then lots of other publications uh, discussed it up until February of 2023. And that's all anyone has to go by. Now, the problem with this is they're actually using the words of a very ex-disgruntled uh, Traveler's Tales employee who was with the company for 14 years. But based on what happened with the Skywalker saga, which there was a lot of drama behind the scenes between Disney and Traveler's Tales, well, things didn't really go well for this game developer. And uh, he was actually one of the intrigual minds behind the success of the Lego Batman franchise going all the way back to the 2008 Lego game. So people like to really quote his now deleted tweet because it's likely he got in trouble, but also, you know, you can have tweets removed from just talking about games that were in development that have been long scuttled, which would be the Crisis on Infinite Earths game. Now, why do I say the Crisis on Infinite Earths game is probably no more? Well, a lot of you know that there was a lot of drama behind the scenes between Warner Media and Warner Brothers Games. Now, Warner Media was the company that Walter Hamada helmed along with AT&T. Uh, it was the company that started or merged after the, uh, I want to say, Man of Steel or the Dawn of Justice BVS movie. And they made a lot of really poor decisions, as well as canceling a lot of games that actually would not have starved DC audiences. Such games as Arkham related stuff, a spin-off with Damian Wayne, a pitch for a Superman game, and so much more. One of those pitches was the sequel to Lego Batman 4, or rather Lego DC Supervillains, which was Crisis on Infinite Earths. Now why do I say one of those such sequels? Well there's been rumors for years now that the Crisis game has been cancelled for some time but people still say a Lego Batman 4 game is in development, or rather a Lego Batman sequel. While it's possible, I don't think that Lego DC Super Villain sequel is still actually in circulation. If in anything, it would be a brand new Lego Batman game. Of course, the pandemic rolled around, and the time frame for life cycle of Lego Batman games was extended. Now, if you didn't know this or not, most Lego Batman games have a four-year life cycle usually takes four years before the next entry in the series to release. Case in point, Lego Batman was 2008. I believe Lego Batman 2 was 2012. And Lego Batman 3 was 2014, along with Lego DC Super Villains was 2018. So as you can see, there's usually a clear pattern for when these Lego Batman games did release. 
Now we're into 2024 with only just a little bit of details about what happened to Lego Batman 4, which actually would be Lego Batman 5. But since people seem to, you know, not count Lego DC supervillains, it is what it is. So in the now deleted tweet that came from January 13th, 2023, update on this one. Lego Disney is absolute trash, canceled last year. Mainly because it was a crap show, but partially because Dreamlight Valley did a lot of things it was trying to do better. It's now the Mandalorian DLC for Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, and another Lego Batman game because I'm sure there's someone out there that isn't utterly sick of Batman by now. That's four quietly cancelled Eternal projects by TT Now in the last three years. Now. I really believe that one of the cancelled TT games that he is discussing is the Crisis on Infinite Earths game. So that would mean that most likely the Lego Batman 4 game that he is discussing is something completely different. There was also, I believe, a Harry Potter game that was cancelled as well as the Lego Disney. Now if you don't know what Lego Disney was, it was actually going to be a thing. It was uh, being uh, put into production very quickly in order to hit that 100 year anniversary for the Disney company. Of course, the game was swept under the rug, they had a lot of problems, and a lot of those issues stemmed from the relationship being strained with Disney during production of LEGO The Skywalker Saga. So if this gentleman really believes that LEGO Batman 4 was in development, well, I mean, I hate to be the guy to say this, but usually ex-employees only know what's going on when they're still at the company. And the fact that he left uh, right before 2023, I believe, it's very hard for me to believe that that game that he was thinking about is actually still around. Now, with um, Zaslav, you know, in the driver's seat and James Gunn, it's very possible we could see probably a reboot of the Lego Batman games, but they would have to be very different because according to intel that I have, which is a rumor, so take it with a grain of salt, Danny Elfman and Warner Brothers' relationship is kind of strained at the moment after the whole Justice League debacle. It is true they did license or rearrange some elements of the Danny Elfman Batman theme for The Flash, but the LEGO games, the reason why there has never been a LEGO Batman 1-3 through 3 collection re-released on Nintendo Switch or, you know, any of those other systems as kind of like an upscaled HD game, has to do with the music of Danny Elfman and he's not cool with Warner Brothers using the music. So, unfortunately, we have a character, or rather a CEO at Warner Brothers, who's basically a miser. He's like Uncle Scrooge, Scrooge McDuck. He doesn't like to spend money. And in order for them to re-release the LEGO Batman games, which would be great to get back in the public's mind, because remember, LEGO Batman 1 sold over 12 million copies. It is actually a very successful LEGO game, with its follow-up games doing moderately well. I would argue that LEGO Batman 2 is actually a better game than LEGO Batman 1, but it only sold around like 6 or 7 million copies. In fact, the NPD sales has still not been updated, and I think LEGO Batman 3 sold around 3 million copies, with LEGO DC Supervillains being around 2 or 4. So, I mean, you know, the franchise has sold quite a bit when you combine them, but the fact that they haven't really done much with LEGO Batman is very disheartening because there's a lot actually they could play around with. They could have done a LEGO Batman, the LEGO Batman movie thing. So <laughs> there's been a lot of interesting LEGO projects canceled over the years. Now I know I'm a skeptic, but it's hard for me to believe that LEGO Batman 4 is still in development. I believe it was in development at some time. But I think that the LEGO game that everybody's thinking about is the cancelled, or at least in development hell, LEGO Crisis on Infinite Earths. Which, I think it would be very difficult for Warner Brothers to release that now, because they've been milking the whole Crisis on Infinite Earths thing for quite some time. They've done it with the CW, they were going to do it with the Walter Hamada DCU, um, they are doing a three-part movie saga, an animated film thing that begins this year, with Crisis on Infinite Earths, so I don't see them jumping on the bandwagon to release a video game based on Crisis on Infinite Earths. So if they are working on a LEGO Batman 4 or 5, chances are that's either a reboot or a brand new story. Um, I think that part of the reason what happened with the Crisis on Infinite Earths game is a couple factors. So as you guys know, there's multiple LEGO Batman actors. 
In fact, I believe all three of them did appear in some capacity in Lego Batman, uh, or excuse me, Lego DC Supervillains, as well as Lego Batman 3. Um, Lego DC Supervillains had Adam West, Kevin Conroy, and Troy Baker. And uh, those three Batman didn't really interact, which I believe, if rumors are to be true, they were saving for the Crisis on Infinite Earths game. But with Adam West and, of course, Kevin Conroy no longer being in the picture, well, it would be hard to really utilize something like that. Now, there are other Batman actors that are still alive, such as Diedrich Batter and Troy Baker, Roger Craig Smith, and some others, but really the major star power that you had for a Crisis on an Infinite Earths game can't really happen anymore because it just wouldn't have that same gravitas. And Joker, aka Mark Hamill, is not going to come back and work on any project that Kevin isn't a part of. Um, and uh, Mark and Kevin were the only reason that they appeared in LEGO DC Supervillains, but again, I believe that LEGO DC Supervillains was supposed to be the catalyst for either a LEGO Justice League game or something else. Now, there is a possibility, but probably not anymore, that you could have done the Snyderverse as a LEGO thing like they did with the LEGO Avengers. They have a lot of stuff they could work with. The problem is, though, unlike the MCU, the DCEU was not successful. So going together and making uh, LEGO games based on Ben Affleck's Batman, uh, it wouldn't really be a very successful venture for Warner Brothers, unfortunately. I think Warner Brothers had a wait-and-see attitude for things like the Justice League and stuff like that, and it just didn't work out. And uh, because, you know, WB is kind of skittish, well, it would make sense that they would cancel a lot of uh, potential projects as well as, like, not take the pitches uh, at face value. Because, I mean, Warner Brothers is a creature of habit. If something doesn't work out, they cancel it outright. Look at the Batgirl movie. If they're not confident in something, they're going to scuttle whatever it is they're going to scuttle. That's just how they are. Um, I kind of wish they weren't like that. I kind of wish that they would take risks because what they're doing is not only have they starved uh, fans of the Arkham franchise, but they've also left fans of LEGO Batman hungry for quite a while. So, again, the last time that we had a new LEGO Batman game was in 2018. It is now 2024 with no new updates other than just a deleted tweet from 2023. So anyway, now I want to hear from all of you guys and gals. Do you believe that LEGO Batman 4 is in development? Or are you kind of like uh, siding with me and you think that it was one of the projects that were canceled a few years ago? Let me know in the comments section below. Now keep in mind, all of this is just rumors and speculations. I myself have no idea if LEGO Batman games are still in development. All I remember is hearsay and accidental slips that Traveler's Tales employees have told me and other press people by accident at press events in New York City and California. And, uh, well, there's been no updates since then. I hope you guys enjoyed today's topic video. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, you know, maybe someday LEGO Batman will fly again. But if he does, it'll probably be in a reboot. So anyway, people, keep it locked here for more Arkham Origins content later tonight, as well as we'll be starting The Rise of Sinzu to celebrate that game's 20th anniversary very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and click that like button. Let's see if we can get this video up to 100 likes. All right, people. Thanks so much. Be seeing you.